Hello, I'm Gusta Johnson. I'm part of the Carnegie Council. The Carnegie Council has been around for almost 100 years. Donate now to keep the voices of ethics alive. Thank you. A good financial system should nurture and mirror uh, a good real economy. Uh, this, this may seem somewhat uncontroversial, but it was only three or four years ago when a blue, blue ribbon panel uh, uh, studying the competitiveness of the American financial system declared that the American financial system was terrific because it produced high paying, jo paying jobs for financiers. Uh, <laughs> I don't think most of us would, would think in those terms today. I mean, one does not think of the worth of a correctional system in terms of the pay and jobs it provides for prison guards. One, uh, likewise, one should not think of the worth of a financial system in terms of wh wh whether or not it makes a few uh, financiers really rich. What you have to ask is, does it support this pervasive dynamism that is, uh, that is ultimately the source of our, uh, of, our, of our prosperity. And then the next question we should ask is, uh, what kind of financial system would do that? And I would argue that exactly the, fe the features that you see in a real economy, decentralized judgment, conversations, relationships, ought to be the kinds of things you see in the financial system as well. Why? First of all, ev virtually all demands from finance originate in a judgment in a forward-looking judgment. They do not originate as the consequence of, a of the solution to a mathematical equation. If I decide to apply for a mortgage, it is, I mean, assuming that I've done it sensibly, it's because I've walked around the neighborhood, I know the neighborhood, uh, I, know, I, I sort of have made a judgment that the price of this house isn't going to collapse right after I bought it. I'm, I've made a judgment that my job is secure, and that the, 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 the kind of mortgage that, I am, uh, that I'm applying for is one that I, uh, whose interest rate I, 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 I could bear. Likewise, if I'm a small business person and I'm applying for a working capital loan, I'm making a judgment. I'm making a judgment that my business is sound, that it's going to grow, that my competitors are not going, not, not going to destroy my business, that my customers will, will, will continue to buy. And it is on this basis that I apply for a loan for more working capital. And the only prudent way uh, to, to make this working capital loan or, or to extend this mortgage is the Hayekian way, which is that the banker as well has to make a, a, a judgment about my judgment. The banker has to figure out, have I been sensible in thinking about housing prices? Have I been sensible in thinking about the soundness of in, 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 in the, 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 the continuity of my income? The, bank, the, 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 the banker looking at a working capital loan application has to figure out whether, whether the small business person has, has made a good judgment by getting into the head of, of the small business person. This cannot be done by looking at a few variables. Likewise, we need the banker to have a dialogue. There is no way that the banker can get inside the head of a person applying for a mortgage or a person applying for a working capital loan without having a conversation. And then to the degree that a banker uh, uh, extends finance not just for, f overnight, but usually for extended periods of time, uh, of time. And in many, many cases, the deal that is struck at the outset needs to be modified. Uh, my business may do better than I expected, and therefore, but therefore I may run into my credit limit. It may do worse, and I may violate a covenant. Uh, I may lose a job, or I may choose, uh, or, or I may simply not not find, uh, or, or I may forget to make my mortgage payments. Uh, then the banker has to decide: Does the banker call the loan? Does the banker stick to the letter of the agreement? Does the banker foreclose or not? And this decision can only, good judgments about these kinds of decisions can only uh, can only be made. Uh, if there's been an ongoing relationship. You cannot parachute in from somewhere and, and decide whether to foreclose or not or, 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 or decide whether, to, whether or not to, to, to change the terms of the working capital loan. Uh, in many, many parts of finance, you still have the structure. Uh, uh, small business loans are still made by bankers going around and, and, and talking to, to potential borrowers. Venture capital, which 
extends finance to the most advanced technologies in the world is still done in an incredibly old-fashioned way. The venture capitalist actually goes and visits the person looking for a loan. The venture capitalist has a conversation, and many conversations. The venture capitalist sits on the board and sort of has an ongoing relationship with, with what is going on. Uh, and that's well and fine, but unfortunately, the great growth in finance over the last 20 or 30 years has not been in, 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 in a way that mirrors the real economy. It has been centralized, mechanistic, judgment and uh, non-judgment based, formulaic, it, it involves no conversations and it involves no relationships. Mm -hmm.